Hello everyone, welcome to DCC and IT Agartala. Myself Tejas and I am a second year electrical engineering undergrad. Today I will be discussing the problem cheap travel. So let's read the problem statement first. So Anne has recently started commuting by subway. We know that a one ride subway ticket costs A rubles. Besides, Anne found out that she can buy a special ticket for M rides and she can also buy it several times. Okay. It costs B rubles. The tickets for M rides will cost you B rubles and for a single ride the tickets cost A rubles. Anne did the math. She will need to use subway N times. And Anne will be using the subway N times. Help Anne tell her what is the minimum sum of money she will have to spend to make N rides. We will have 4 inputs N, M, A and B. Okay. So we have N. That is the number of rides that N will be doing. And then we have M. Then we have uh, A and B. A and B. Okay. So A, <coughs> A, <coughs> sorry. A is the price for single ride. A is what N would be paying for single ride. Also, there is a ticket. Uh, that will cost you B rubles that can give you M rights, M number of rights. And N is the total number of rights that N will be doing. Now, uh, if we take the example 6, 2, 1 and 2. Sorry. 6, 2, 1 and 2 so here uh, <coughs> she needs to do uh, n needs uh, n will be doing a uh, total 6 rides and a single ride will cost her 1 ruble and there is a special ticket available that will cost 2 rubles for 2 rides okay and you can buy as many uh, this special ride tickets as you can now here what she can do is that she can either uh, buy a single ticket for each day if this is the case then it will be 1 the cost will be 1 into 6 and it will be 6 and she can uh, or she can buy the special ticket uh, the 3 special tickets 3 special tickets will give her 6 rides and it will cost 2 into 3 and this is also 6 so minimum amount she needs to pay is 6 in this case this was pretty simple this case was pretty simple now <coughs> let us take some other example <coughs> suppose uh, the total number of rides that we have is 10 and we have a special ticket uh, that will give you three rides A single, uh, the special ticket would cost you, uh, suppose, 5, 5 rubles. And the single, if uh, I, for each, if she decides to travel by buying one ticket for each day, that is single ticket for each day, uh, suppose it will cost her uh, 3, 3 rupees per day, <coughs> uh, 3 rubles per day. Now, she can either travel, uh, she can either buy 3, uh, the single ticket, for each of the 10 days and the total price then it will be 30 or she can buy 3 tickets or oh sorry this 3 M ride tickets that will give her 9 rides and it will cost her uh, 15 rupees 3 into 5 and one day she has 3 into 3 will be 9 so she will be left for one day and for one day she can buy this single day ticket and this will cost her 18 rupees so the minimum here we'll be getting is 18 so how do we decide uh, how do we calculate which is the minimum amount uh, let's come to the code part now so first we'll be taking the inputs we have n we have then we have N M A N B N M A 
share the <clears throat> suppose a case where uh, the number of days that she needs to travel is less than or equals to m in this case uh, she can either buy single tickets for each day and that will cost her uh, if i go if i buy single ticket for each day it will cost her n into a or she can buy one m rides ticket it will cost her b in m rides it will cost her b because m is more than m is more than or equals to n so one ticket will be suffice for all the n travels so my answer in this case would be the minimum of m rides and the single rides okay. else if m is less than n what we can do is that let's take another example or let us see this example but in a different way so that we can code it <coughs> we can either uh, this was 3 okay so we can either buy three tickets sorry we can either buy a single ticket for all the 10 days so one case is n into a we are buying a single ticket for each of the 10 days otherwise what we can do is that we can buy three m ride tickets which will be uh, counting for nine rides so how do we get how many m ride tickets we should buy we'll be dividing 10 by 3 we get 3 integer division and then we'll be multiplying it with the amount m sorry uh, we divide n by m and then we'll be multiplying it with the amount b okay or it is n by m into the amount b plus now we are left for uh, if i buy three m ride tickets that will be giving us nine rides we will be left with one ride now for this one ride i can either buy a single ticket or i can buy a b ride uh, m rides ticket for b rupees okay whichever is minimum uh, this plus sorry this plus minimum of n by m this time we'll be using the modulus operator because we need to get the number of days left so n by m sorry again this will be n mod m n mod m into a because we are buying single tickets for each day or we can buy one m rides ticket so this is one case this is the other case so our answer will be the minimum of this and this minimum between these and these so let's code it else uh, if i uh, buy single ticket for each day then it will again cost me n into a if i buy the m rights ticket m rights it will cost me n by m sorry n by m into b write the cost plus math dot minimum of n percentage of m that is the left days into uh, a because for the left days we can we are either buying single ticket for each day or we are buying one one m rights ticket and our answer would be and we'll be printing the minimum of single and m rights yes i think we are good to go let's see if it runs Sorry, sorry.
sorry sorry there is a mistake Now it's good to go. Just, just the right answer, guys. You can look at the code once again. This is the code. Thank you.